if velocity is defined as the ratio of y to m, we can rewrite that and say m times v, the money supply, times the number of times per year that money is spent equals y, nominal GDP. We can then remind ourselves that another way to think of nominal GDP is the price level times real GDP, which makes sense if these are both measured as index numbers because there is no such thing in the abstract. What is the price level today? What is real GDP? Excuse me, that should be real GDP. Real GDP is an index number. Price level is an index number. Multiplied together, they'll give you nominal GDP. Now, then it's quick step. If we have these two ways of expressing y, m times v or p times q, then those two must be equal. And that's what's called the equation of exchange. Because it sums up all the exchanges in the economy in some year. The amount of money, m, times v, the number of times that money changes hands, is equal to the nominal value, p times q, of GDP the equation of exchange. Now, we can make one more manipulation here. Let's multiply both sides of the equation of exchange by 1 over q. Then we'll get something else. Now that's sort of interesting. That tells us that the price level depends on two things, the velocity of the circulation of money and the ratio of the money supply to real output. Or to put it another way around, let's assume that the velocity of circulation of money stays pretty constant. Then, any change in P, which is inflation, any change in P depends on a change in the ratio M over Q, or to put another way around, the price level is proportional to the ratio m over q. This will then lead us to what is known as the monetary rule. 